right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the June Community Webcast. My name is Caitlin Lamb. I'm a Product Marketing Manager for CA Agile Central. Here today we have Andrew Homeyer and Anna Steele from the Waffle I.O. team, and they're here to talk about boosting productivity in engineering teams by automating Agile Central and GitHub using Waffle I.O. Um, just a reminder, a replay of this presentation will be available on the Agile Central community within one or two business days, so you can share with your colleagues or watch again. Um, please utilize the Q&A feature in the right-hand um, part of your screen, and we will address questions at the very end. So with that said, I will pass it on over to Anna. Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. Um, we are going to be talking about productivity and engineering teams. Um, we're really excited to talk about how that works um, between Agile Central and GitHub using waffle.io. Um, we know a little bit that probably folks on the phone have never actually seen or interacted with waffle.io. So we're gonna take some time just to tell you a little bit about where we come from and what our product is. And then we're gonna dive into how we actually can help integrate between Agile Central and um, GitHub. And uh, just to get started, i um, joined today by my teammate and fearless leader, who we lovingly refer to as the Chief Waffle Maker, Andrew Homeyer. Hey everyone, uh, nice to meet everyone virtually. Uh, Anna is our customer avocado. We say avocado because my iPhone autocorrect always uh, changes advocate to avocado, so it's a fun little nickname we have now. Uh, but Anna interacts with all of our customers to make sure that they're successful, so it's really fun to, pick, to pair up on talks like this and make it more conversational as opposed to just one of us talking at you. Um, so if you've never heard of Waffle before, we're actually a product of uh, CA Technologies. Uh, it might be sort of confused, like how does, how does CA and Waffle actually come together? Uh, you might be more, more familiar with CA as um, a 40-year-old company uh, known for its mainframes. Um, but we think that dinosaurs are, are cool these days. Uh, CA is actually investing in the future of how teams work. Uh, we're, we're doing that through a program called the CA Accelerator. Uh, so this is a way that CA is actually incubating new businesses inside our company. So there are, I think, 12 different businesses that we are funding to build that we think uh, could become the future of what CA as a company is. So Waffle is one of those businesses. Uh, we run our own product and development, but also our own sales and marketing. So uh, that's probably why you might not have heard of us before. Uh, we run fairly independent. Um, but we are part of our, our larger company, and we are um, aligned uh, to try to figure out how to work together with products like Agile Central to serve our existing customers and also reach out to new customers. So one of the reasons we're here today is to talk about a quote we've all heard. So software is eating the world, and I always forget, Andrew, who, who said that? Uh, that, was, that was Mark Andreessen back in uh, 2011. Ah, he's probably having a really good couple weeks, uh, just with the GitHub news. Um, so if software is eating the world, way more importantly, software developers are going to be eating the world. Yeah, so um, I've actually been a, been a full-stack developer for a decade now, and I'm, I'm just like showing my age. Um, <laughs> uh, but there, there, there are 22 million of us um, out there, and oftentimes we're not working by ourselves, right? We're, we're always working on a team. So five or six of us uh, often working with um, uh, with a product person inside a startup or with an enterprise, and it's, it's these these teams that come together that can really change the world. Uh, it's these people who are these teams that are writing the software that's really changing how every company works. Uh, we we like the moniker that every company is a software company now. So, but it's really about people. It's about how we work together to solve these these problems. And the really interesting thing to us was that out in the world today, there are tons of options for how to manage. Um, as a product manager, what, what tools do you have available? And they're purpose-built and they're awesome. Um, but one of the things we really kind of thought about is why isn't there somebody serving those 22 million product developers, or sorry, developers out there in the market? Yeah, so, so, so as a developer, there's, there's nothing worse than building the wrong thing, pouring our, our energy, uh, and our time into building something that, that we think is important, but ends up that it's not actually solving a customer problem. So as a developer, I actually love working with product people because they help me and my team understand the why behind the work and understand the business context. But like Anna's saying, there's, there's this huge opportunity. Like we can do so much more to connect those two worlds together. How can we have product management tools that actually help developers understand the status of their work at a deeper level 
beyond just knowing that something's in progress, how can we show developers the true status of their work? Um, like whether their, their build is uh, passing or failing or whether work has been deployed. Uh, so that's, that's why we're here. Yeah, so Waffle, um, our purpose and the thing that we talk about every week as we sit down and um, plan our work is about how do we empower development teams and we do that by automating the way they track work so that they can stay aligned with each other. So Waffle does that uh, by integrating with the, the ecosystem that, that already exists. So we're not asking your team to go log into a different tool and uh, copy work from one more place. That's the anti-pattern that we're actually trying to, trying to move away from. So instead, Waffle integrates deeply with uh, the, the tools that your team is, is already using. Uh, so today, Waffle integrates deeply with, with GitHub. Uh, both github.com and github enterprise and also with github's whole ecosystem uh, so you, if you have uh, can, uh, if, if your team does continuous integration to run automated builds whether it's jenkins or travis ci you almost certainly have that connected to github as well uh, so waffle connects to this whole ecosystem to give your developers a view of what they, they actually love so if we actually look at what what waffle looks like uh, this is this is a project inside waffle uh, so it probably looks familiar with a Kanban board. Uh, so maybe inside Agile Central, you've used a Kanban board, uh, or at least within a different tool. What's unique about Waffle is that every single card you see in these columns, every card represents a piece of work that your, that your developer has tracked somewhere else. So these are GitHub issues and GitHub pull requests. So, uh, so pull requests um, is a, a code contribution. So when a developer is writing code and they're ready to um, submit that back to the code base, uh, they can put it, um, put all that code into a pull request, and then your automated tests are running at that pull request, and then your team can leave feedback uh, and approve it or request changes based on that pull request. So because of that, Waffle can actually show you all that level of detail inside your product management tool. Uh, so this, um, so looking at this screen, you see a card. Uh, so look at the, the the top of this news review column. You see three little. Um, uh, little sections under that first card, and those are all different pull requests uh, that are contributing to uh, to this issue, to this feature that they're building. And we can see that those little green bars are showing us that the, the test uh, the, the test passed, uh, and the circles around the avatars are even telling our team that uh, someone has left comments um, and requested changes on those different pull requests. So, um, so much detail that developers care about to understand the real status of their work. So when you think about what the world looks like without Waffle, you might think of a story. So on any product management tool that you're using, perhaps in your adult teams, um, work is represented today by a user story. And all this awesome planning happens above that about what features and maybe what ethics um, get broken down all the way to this level. Um, but this in a lot of ways is just the tip of the iceberg. Um, so this is what you guys can see as product managers or what your team sees as far as how work is supposed to be thought of to be done. It's sort of, um, it's sort of unfortunate that uh, to, to actually figure out the, the true status, you have to go ask Jacob. Uh, but with Waffle, it, it changes everything, doesn't it? Yeah, so think of a world in which Jacob, instead of having Andrew walk down the hallway and tap him on the shoulder and say, hey man, it uh, looks like user story 3507 has been kind of stale, sitting in, in, uh, you know, in progress for a couple days now, what's going on? And in our stand-ups, instead, Jacob walks into the room and Andrew already has the context that um, story 3507 um, is an issue in GitHub and it has two pull requests that are currently representing work that's being done on it um, and commits that are going to happen back to the code base. And you can even see that one of them has a failing build status. So uh, we as a team know that maybe Jacob needs somebody's help to dig into what's going on with um, pull request uh, 350. Um, and all of that is just visualized directly from one place. Um, so instead of Jacob getting a friendly tap on the shoulder from Andrew, we've been able to answer a lot of the questions about where this work is in progress without having to bother anyone. Yeah, so uh, Waffle's all about visualizing the work that your team is already doing. But for us, that, that's not enough. Uh, instead of just showing you what's happening, 
Waffle also automates everything we can, so developers no longer have to manually update their status. Say what? Pretty crazy, right? So um, it turns out if, if you look in the right places, we can we can figure out what the true status of work is. So when, when Jacob opens a pull request, that actually means that, that his code is at least in progress and it might even be ready for review. And Waffle can move it to the right phase in your process automatically so that uh, during your daily standup, uh, when, when you're talking as a team, uh, no longer is the developer saying, oh yeah, um, that's ready for review, let me log in and move that over to this column. I'll also move it automatically for them. Um, same thing for, for, um, for you at, when you finish work. Uh, so as soon as you merge a pull request, Waffle moves that to the done column. Same thing for deployments as well. Uh, so if you connect Waffle to your uh, delivery system, and Waffle can move cards automatically uh, when you do deployments. Uh, so uh, your, your team knows when something has, has been shipped out the door. Uh, super powerful for, for your team to know uh, exactly what the status is without having to ask somebody or uh, not be able to trust that the tool is stale or not. Uh, and really powerful too as your team moves more towards uh, continuous integration and continuous delivery. Waffle showing your team uh, the important work and actually encourages them to move faster with smaller pull requests and getting towards the motion of shipping code every day as opposed to um, shipping code once a week or even longer. So we, we actually look at our, um, our data to figure out uh, how, much, how much time are we saving for developers. Uh, so, so Wafflebot, um, our, our fun little character is, is the, the guy in the background doing all this work. Turns out uh, hundreds of thousands of actions um, are, are done uh, every month. Uh, sure, this is across thousands of teams using Waffle today, uh, but, but if you consider that um, every action that's automated, a developer would have to remember to log into a tool and manually do something across the board, or have to be, be, be reminded and tap on the shoulder. There's a lot of context around every single action that we're automating that saves so much time for developers. And frankly, it makes them happy. It makes them happy to see things move automatically. It's super rewarding uh, to open a pull request and see it just go to the right spot on, on your team's uh, board. So one really important thing that we forgot to mention when we talk about our purpose every week as we plan our work is that we're not here just to empower development teams so that they can stay aligned with each other. A huge piece of this is that they can stay aligned with the organization that they're in. Yeah, uh, so this is, this is probably what, uh, what you've been waiting for. So thank you so much for sticking around for 10 minutes as we finally got to talk about how we connect Waffle up to Agile Central. Uh, this is an integration we've been working on earlier this year. Uh, we're currently piloting it with some Agile Central customers. The way this works, uh, so, so now that you've seen Waffle and you know that Waffle is all about you know, issues and pull requests, our integration lets you and your team work inside Waffle and in GitHub and contribute that work status up to the uh, portfolio layer within Agile Central. So we know that um, program managers and your stakeholders, they really care about the progress towards their features and their initiatives. And oftentimes they don't actually need to drill into the actual user story level inside their teams. It's enough for them to see progress against those goals and of course know, to who, um, know who to go talk to if, um, if, if goals aren't, um, aren't on track or not. The way we do this uh, is letting you connect any card within Waffle uh, and have it uh, connect automatically up to um, a feature within Agile Central. Andrew, you're blowing my mind here. So are you saying teams could just use Waffle and GitHub? Yeah, yeah. Um, so, so a lot of feedback we've heard from Agile Central customers is that uh, they want Agile Central to be deeply connected uh, to the work that their teams are doing, doing within GitHub. Uh, so because Waffle has always been a product, super connected to GitHub, the first, the first place we've started to, to make um, Agile Central more valuable to developers is actually enable teams to just use Waffle at the team layer um, and still contribute work up to this program layer. Um, that, that doesn't mean that um, all your teams would have to switch over. So what's really cool is that um, if you have, um, say, two teams, both working on the same feature within Agile Central, you can have one team uh, be tracking user stories within Agile Central, and you can have another team try out Waffle, um, use GitHub issues and pull requests, and contribute work up to see how this works for your team to see if it's to see if it's a good fit. Um, Waffle definitely doesn't have some features that you might expect from Agile Central, like um, release tracking or iteration planning. Um, it's a much uh, simpler and um, flexible uh, Kanban flow-based tool, um, but it's automated and tied deeply to the work your team is already doing. So we think this is a, a powerful step towards uh, figuring out how we can help Agile Central customers with empowering their, their development teams. So we have a bet, Andrew and I. Um, 
And the reason why we thought it would be fun to make this bet is because if you guys remember back to the last time you had to set up any product management tool ever um, and think about kind of the effort and thinking through how you're going to structure data and what the relationships are between different things you're working on. Um, and so my bet to Andrew is that he can't demo setting up Waffle for the first time in under a minute. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try this. Live demos are scary, right? I, I am also going to laugh at him as he presses the wrong buttons. Cool. I'm, I'm starting. I'm literally starting a timer right now. So let's, let's actually see if this works. Uh, all right. So to get started, uh, you can just go to waffle.io. Um, this works with GitHub.com. Uh, we have a version that works with GitHub Enterprise. It's a little more set up since you have to install that because it's probably behind your own company's firewall. So uh, you can play around with Waffle with an open source or side project as well. So just go here, click login or sign up. Uh, for your company's work, uh, you have to give us access to all of your private GitHub repos. If you're just playing around with a, a public repo you might have, you can click public. So we'll click the purple button. I'm logged in as one of my test users, so I've never um, created a project before. Uh, if a teammate had ever used Waffle before, you would actually be pre-added to any of their projects. So let's create our first project. What you see here is a list of all of your GitHub repos that you have access to. So because Waffle is so tied to that, uh, you have to connect Waffle to a GitHub repo. So we have a little uh, test repo that's connected to some code and some automated builds. We'll click that guy, our Serenity project. Waffle is really powerful when you connect all of your team's repos to a single board. Uh, it's really powerful to see all of your data, all of your team's work in one place. Uh, for this demo, we're going to skip this step, but that's really important to do as well. We can choose a basic or advanced uh, layout to get started with your team. Either one is totally fine. This is a customizable layer. Later, we just want to help you get started on the right foot. And let's go there. Uh, so if you've never used GitHub issues or GitHub pull requests before, you'll be presented with um, an, an empty board. Uh, Waffle right now is actually working in the background and syncing all the data that we already have. So I'm just going to give that a refresh. Um, and we actually see all the data that my team has already worked in uh, inside GitHub. So even if you've never used Waffle, Waffle before, uh, if you have existing pull requests, you'll see them automatically appear uh, on your Waffle board. And I'm sorry, that took me um, just over a minute and a half. I know you talked way more when we were practicing I earlier. <laughs> I'm, I'm disappointed in myself, but, but hopefully that was that was still a simple set of process to, to get you to uh, a board you can you can actually start using. I think under five minutes we'll take it, um, and I think special dispensation if you want to show people how the integration works. Oh yeah, cool. So let's do that. Um, let me show you how this integration to Agile Central actually works. So you've made it this far. You see all of your, your GitHub issues and pull requests. Maybe you create your first issue if you've never used one before. We're going to play around with um, this card right here. So in our backlog, we have this um, issue named Explore Boundaries of the Universe. Um, nothing to do with software development. Um, this is one of our, we, we like to play around with, with different themes. And this is a theme based on Serenity. Um, the, the, what was it, a movie based on a, a old fox like, uh, a TV show called Firefly. So you should totally watch that if you've never checked it out. And you just got real dark. Right. Sorry, on. sorry, Anna. All right, cool. So the way this works um, is within, within Agile Central. So flipping over some tabs, uh, you can go to the portfolio item view. So portfolio, then portfolio items. Um, I'm looking at one right here. So um, 17858. Uh, so like I mentioned, uh, Waffle connects cards up to the portfolio layer. Um, so right now we see that we are at a 0% done, so 0, 0 points, and 0, 0 user story. So remember that for a second. Um, jump to the details and just copy, copy the link to that feature. So this is how we connect things together. Just copy the link, um, jump back to Waffle, and then inside any card, um, this could be within an epic inside, um, uh, inside Waffle or a pull request or an issue, it doesn't matter, and just say that it's a child of um, that link to that feature. Uh, Waffle uses this um, this language like child of and blocks and uh, depends on to do a bunch of really cool features like uh, dependencies um, and, and ethics. Um, so this is um, just a Waffle pattern, but from anywhere inside um, a, a Waffle or, or even within GitHub directly, you can say child of uh, a link to that feature. And cross our fingers, cool. Uh, so in real time, we see that now this card has um, a reference um, up to that feature. So if I were to click this, it would open up a new tab so the, my, my developers can see the context for the work that they're doing. If they go back to Agile Central, this is where the magic happens. 
we'll now see. Oops, let's give it a second. Five demo, it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So we see that this new um, EC19 showed up. So external contribution from Wahl. So anytime you connect um, cards from Wahl up to Edo Central, you'll see this this new thing pop up in this hierarchy. This is showing you that um, the work is being uh, contributed uh, up from Wahl. So uh, this this counts up all the different cards that are connected up to this feature and shows you what percent is is done. So if, if within Wahl we actually grab this card and move it to uh, move it to done. Uh, takes a second for a real time process to pick that up and the rollup to happen. But if we give it a second and then refresh within Agile Central, we'll see that now it's 100% done. That was really cool. Um, and that will in a second roll up to this feature as well. So this is this is how this integration works, um, is work within Waffle, contributes up to that portfolio layer um, so teams can work within Waffle um, and actually never have to leave Waffle and GitHub. So they can stay here, they have all the context they need um, to understand um, how that how that feature um, is, is being worked on. Uh, and developers can be happier, and your program and your product managers uh, get, the, get the, the view that they need within, within Agile Central uh, to know progress towards their, their initiatives and features. Cool. I've been finished. <laughs> Nailed it. Um, so, if you guys are interested in trying Waffle, um, one of the things we want to throw out there is that if you have an interested team that wants to hook Waffle up for the first time to some of the repos they're using, um, let us know. And if you let us know that you're on today's webinar um, at support at waffle.io and your team is in to trying Waffle, um, just go to the waffle.io page and click login or um, sign up to get started. And uh, we'll go ahead and send you and your team an awesome pair of locally made Boulder, Colorado, Merino Waffle Eye socks, which the entire team is currently sporting. <laughs> I'm a I'm a trail runner and a cyclist, um, so we we take socks seriously here. <laughs> Just be lucky, guys. It's not winter time, or else we'd be talking ski socks in this picture. <laughs> True. Um, and if you guys are not using um, github.com, but instead using GitHub Enterprise, no problem, we've got you. Um, so we have an on-premise version of Waffle that's made to use with GitHub Enterprise called Waffle Takeout. Um, so you are welcome to start a free trial of that and um, 45 days to kick the tires and see if Waffle can make your development team's lives a little bit awesome and a little bit better for you guys to understand what's going on um, at the team level. Cool. Um, that, that wraps things up for us. We're, we're all about um, connecting developers and product managers in, in a better way. Um, here's our contact information. Feel free to reach out um, at any time. And I think we will now jump into some, some Q&A. Um, if you can keep on asking questions in the Q&A feature in the webinar, uh, I think Anna's going to go through these questions and we're going to bounce them back and forth over the next 10 minutes or so. Yeah, and while, while um, we give a chance for Anna to look over the Q&A that comes through and for any last minute Q&A um, to get submitted, um, you talked about the roll-up effort in Waffle's portfolio items in Agile Central and how you're currently piloting with Agile Central customers. Have you heard any initial feedback so far? Yeah, sorry, I just um, ate an ice cube. Um, <laughs> I wasn't expecting questions so fast. Um, yeah, I mean, this, this is still early. We're, we're working with, with, with just a couple teams, um, but uh, we, we treat them as early adopters, so we're going back and forth um, to really figure out um, how we can um, enable engineering teams to live in the simplest world, but still give them dark context um, and still give data up to the, to the program layer. Um, this, this is honestly a work in progress, so uh, we think we made the first step towards something that um, teams can be successful with, uh, but we're still in the phase of figuring out what's next. So it's exciting for us to, to work with uh, Agile Central customers to, to see where we go. Excellent. Thanks. Um, so a question that came in for the Q&A, guys. Um, it's awesome. Keep sending them in. I'm reading them as they come. Um, so one of the first ones was, does Waffle also support teams doing time box development, uh, so teams that do Scrum, or is this limited to more of Kanban or continuous flow? Yeah, um, let me actually show you one of our, our live customers. Um, so because Waffle uh, supports GitHub, 
uh, and is free for open source projects. We have some customers that choose to make all of their work public. Um, if your code is private, of course, your, your project management is private too. Uh, but this, this is one of our customers. This is the Department of Veteran Affairs, so the U.S. government uh, using Waffle. Uh, this, is, this is actually seeing our, our tax dollars at work in real time, so, uh, so pretty cool. Um, this team has uh, a, a workflow um, that does use a time box, so they have a column for, for current sprint. Um, we don't have a formal notion of a time box, so we can't go and say that our iterations are two weeks and expect work to magically fall over from one iteration to the next, um, but there are ways um, in a more flow-based system to do, I might call it scrum bond, um, where your team still has a cadence of planning every week or two um, and fills a column and their team commitment is to work through that column um, starting with, with that current sprint or current iteration and working through that over the week in a more flow-based, full fashion. So not, not formal time boxes, but we do have a lot of customers that do more a scrum bond type approach of still having a planning cadence. Awesome. Thanks, Andrew. Um, it's cool how you're having the screen up on Waffle. Uh, another question that came in is what metrics are available in Waffle on the left-hand panel? Ooh, you saw that, did you? <laughs> um, cool. I'm going to jump to a different customer to show you how that works. Um, so this is uh, another open source uh, project. This is funded by Mozilla. So this team is working on um, a uh, cross device, so mobile app to share passwords um, through Firefox. Uh, and what's cool about this team is they have um, product launches uh, that we can track through metrics. Um, so Waffle gives you two lightweight metrics. Um, if you're coming from a tool like Azure Central, we do not have all the things you might expect, like uh, continue um, like a CFD type, type chart. Um, but we do have throughput and milestone burnout, which helps teams know uh, how much work they can get done in a certain period of time, and also if they're on track for a specific um, due date. Um, so throughput, uh, you can look at either uh, pull requests or issues or both, and either look at the number of things or the size of them if you use estimates. What's cool about Waffle is we do enhanced GitHub data. So if you've ever used GitHub issues directly, you know that you can't um, give point estimates. So Waffle does layer that on top of um, on top of GitHub data. Um, but we can go back to uh, let's go back a year. Let's say uh, let's look at two weeks. Uh, so we can see how long this team has been working um, uh, and see the flow of how much work they get done. Uh, we can actually look at pull requests only. So if, if your team is doing continuous delivery where every pull request, when it's merged, actually goes out to production, uh, it's, it's a different way of, of looking at work that can actually be, be more accurate than just what the team thinks they're doing. This is the, the actual work that's happening. So uh, fun, to work at, um, fun to look at metrics around pull requests as opposed to just, uh, just work items. Uh, looking at milestone burndown, uh, let's, uh, let's pick a milestone. So uh, milestones within GitHub have um, a due date. Um, this is always scary to pick a customer to see what happens. So let's see version 1.1. Uh, so we draw um, a line based on your due date, and we show you a burn down um, based on how, how much work, whether based on count or size, is, is left. Um, so pretty much what you expect around, around um, a burn down graph. Cool. Um, so we had a question come in about what does Waffle look like uh, at the enterprise level? So for an organization that has something like over 5,000 projects, um, how does Waffle scale with that? Uh, so we have a handful of uh, enterprise customers um, using using Waffle with um, hundreds of projects uh, and up to around a thousand users. That's that's a, that's the scale we've reached uh, with our with our enterprise customers. But it's the same technology stack. So um, 30 seconds around Waffle's tech stack. Um, we we ship as Docker containers. Um, in, in Kubernetes um, on our cloud side, on, on our cloud side, and we we, we have um, it's, it's all a SaaS platform that um, has scaled to over 100,000 customers. Uh, we ship that same technology on premises, um, so we're using the same the same code, um, the same Docker images, um, but it is run on on your own machine. Um, but in in theory, we can we can scale the services out in the same way that we have scaled it on SaaS. So conceivably, we can support um, hundreds of thousands of users on your enterprise instance. Um, and in reality, we've we've seen this work flawlessly for for hundreds of, of active customers. Um, but we would we would want to make sure that we're supporting you well through that growth process inside of your company to make sure that you're successful. Thanks, Andrew. Uh, another question that came in is: Will Waffle work with other version control systems? Ooh, um, 
that, that's part of the vision. So um, GitHub was our landing strategy. Um, our, our bigger vision is for us to own certain integrations like um, Bitbucket or GitLab um, would be um, an, an easy place for us to go to. Um, integrations like Perforce, um, even if we don't build them ourselves, our vision is to open up the right API so that customers can contribute their own integrations as well um, so that we can um, support a much broader ecosystem of the, the tools that developers uh, rely on um, where they, they want to live to be most effective and stay out of the heavyweight project management layer. Thanks, Andrew. Uh, let's see, another one that came in is, uh, are there any plans to add a two-way integration between Agile Central and GitHub? So if we create user stories in Rally, corresponding issues are created. What does that look like? Hmm, interesting. Um, we've actually played around with that. Um, so we've, we've had an integration in the past where um, every GitHub issue became a GitHub user story, and every pull request also became a user story. Uh, a lot of the evidence we learned through that is that um, it became really noisy um, that uh, the teams didn't necessarily want that type of coupling. We are, though, exploring like what it looks like to, to better map those things together. So um, like through Waffle, we'll be able to integrate at a deep level with, with user stories instead of just portfolio items. There's no, there's no working code around that. Um, that was part of what I was saying around this is um, this is MVP, what we have today, and we're looking for some early adopters to experiment with us to figure out um, how to solve um, solve best for, for them and their teams to sort of help help co-collaborate on the future vision of um, enabling Agile Central to be really amazing at the, the, pro the program and portfolio level, but truly empower teams uh, potentially with a, with a simpler team level experience with, with automation and integrations. And I'll just kind of answer a little bit more on that, guys, is if you are interested in trying this out, um, we are actively beta testing and looking for folks who want to kind of truly partner with us on, on what this is going to look like in future. So um, Andrew and I have a number of customers we're working with, but we're welcoming new customers to a beta if you're interested. Um, so you would just get in touch either in at waffle.io or support at waffle.io and just let us know you're interested. And we'd be happy to talk about if it's a good fit and get you guys started. And we're just combing through the last of the questions to see if there's a couple more we can tackle all together. Cool. I saw a couple of questions, uh, questions around um, the EC within Agile Central. Um, so let's talk about that for a second. Um, so this EC is an external contribution. Um, one question was around like where the size comes from. Um, this is all rule of driven. Um, so these can only be interacted with through through the API. So it's Waffle um, telling Agile Central that this EC has um, say 10 points uh, with five points completed. Um, same for the cap. So an, an EC is truly an external contribution coming from a different place. Um, so all, all the points um, and the, the percent done is contributed from, like through the API, by Waffle. Um, so you can't set anything directly with an Agile Central. It's just, um, it's just through, that, through that API. Um, uh, it, it, it does live as um, a child of, of a feature. Um, so if you did have other user stories under this feature, um, you would see that external contribution at the top of the list and then user stories as peers next to it. So that's how you would see work contributed from Waffle aligned with other user stories that were worked on by other teams. Um, they, would be, they would be side by side, but only one external contribution would exist for all the work in Waffle. So even if you had three cards inside Waffle contributing to the feature, you would see one external contribution um, encapsulating that contribution um, from all that work inside Waffle. Thanks, Andrew. Um, so we had another question come in uh, that was about how does it work? Um, so stepping back to when we made Andrew do the one minute sprint through setting up a Waffle board, um, giving access to Waffle to private repositories. Mm, yep, um, so, so there's two layers. Um, the first step is giving Waffle access to your, your work within GitHub um, so that um, that is just uh, having anyone on your team um, authenticate with Waffle and we'll ask for the right permissions to be able to, to read your issues and pull requests. To connect that to Agile Central, I did glaze over that. Um, I already connected my, my, my account during the demo. To do that, once, once you're inside Waffle, um, you click this little organization um, account icon here. Um, and this user is not an admin. Um, that is really unfortunate. So um, on this tab, you see another tab called integrations and you click that and there's a one button um, to connect to Agile Central and it would prompt you to allow Waffle to access Agile Central data. So um, it's, it's like a two-click process to 
um, allow lawful um, access to um, to talk to Azure Central on, on behalf of, of your account. And once you configure it at the, um, at the account level, it works for any of the projects you create within lawful. Thanks, Andrew. And just to say, guys, um, for anybody who missed the earlier question um, about how to be an early adopter, um, in the Q&A is my contact information or support at waffle.io, which you guys are welcome to get in touch with us about. Um, cool. Um, there was another question around um, comparing uh, Waffle's integration with GitHub and our connection to Azure Central with the existing Rally connector to GitHub. They're, they're very different approaches. Um, the Rally connector to GitHub um, is something that you have to self-host, um, and that will um, connect pull requests from GitHub to user stories within Azure Central. Um, so you can treat Waffle as um, an alternative team experience today, where we take a different approach to the way that teams, um, to the way that teams track work. Um, uh, and, and the Rally connector um, is a way for your teams to still um, use Agile Central every day to create user stories and defects, um, and to then see pull requests and commits um, connected to those user stories, but you don't get any, um, any build status um, uh, or, or any automation um, through the existing Rally connector to GitHub. I think that it looks like the questions are slowing down. Um, if anybody else has a follow-on question that they'd like to ask, um, go ahead and pop it in the Q&A. Um, if we don't see anything, we might be able to give folks uh, about 20 minutes back before the Spain game. Yeah, 20 minutes till uh, Spain plays Iran. <laughs> That'll be really fun. Cool. All right, everyone, thank you so much. Um, any questions, just Anna at waffle.io or support at waffle.io, and we would love to, to meet you all one-on-one. -on -one. Great. Thank you so much, Andrew and Anna, for taking the time to share with us the capabilities of the Waffle and Agile Central integration. And thank you all to everyone on the line for taking the time to learn about this integration today. Um, just a reminder, the replay will be available on the Agile Central community within one or two business days. Um, you'll also receive a follow-up email when the replay is ready so you can share with your colleagues or watch this recording again. Um, so please join us next month for our July webcast. Um, the topic will be on portfolio manager best practices. So for any of you out there, um, who use Portfolio Manager or have colleagues who do, um, please feel free to join us um, and be on the lookout for the events that will be posted on the Agile Central community within the next week or so. Um, so thank you, everybody, and have a great rest of your day.